Hello, and welcome to the Radio Television Digital News Association's 2022 Edward R. Murrow Award National Winner Reveal. I'm RTDNA President and CEO Dan Shelley, and it's my honor and privilege to kick off today's announcement. I hope you're having a great summer, and for some of you, it's about to get much better. The Edward R. Murrow Awards are among the most prestigious in journalism. Since 1972, RTDNA has been recognizing outstanding journalism with the Murrow Awards. This year, there were more than 5,000 entries. But RTDNA does more than just honor excellent journalism. We help defend the First Amendment and advocate for press freedom. We've helped write legislation in Congress and have been involved in press rights issues in 49 of the 50 states, as well as in courtrooms all over America, up to and including the U.S. Supreme Court. We also invest heavily in education, helping to train the next generation of journalists and equip today's managers with the tools they need to be better journalists and better leaders. Next month, our national conference kicks off in Indianapolis, and we hope you'll join us September 14th through 16th at RTDNA 22. Today, though, is all about excellence in journalism. More than 750 regional Murrow winners advanced to the national competition and over the past few months, an expert panel of journalists has meticulously reviewed and deliberated over every entry. That's why I'm confident in saying today's winners represent the absolute best of the best. So let me be the first to say congratulations to our newest National Edward R. Murrow Award winners. I can't wait to toast you all at our Murrow Awards Gala on October 10th at Gotham Hall right here in New York City. Hello family, I'm Pierre Thomas of ABC News. It's time to celebrate the Murrow Awards that honor the very best in digital and broadcast journalism. I have no idea who won or for what, but I can guarantee this. It's all going to be exceptional and inspiring. Our colleagues and competitors have done incredible and amazing work on some of the most challenging stories in a generation. A violent insurrection attacking the seat of our democracy. There's economic uncertainty and all manner of cultural and political tension to include Supreme Court decisions on abortion. There's rising gun violence and a spike in opioid deaths. We saw the end of a 20-year war in Afghanistan, followed by the lead-up and start of another war in Ukraine. Our hearts have mourned not only for the lives that have been lost due to war and gun violence, but also for our colleagues who have lost their lives for simply trying to do their jobs. Despite the pain and mental exhaustion, journalists continue to step up and cover stories no matter the cost. Big or small, sacrifice was part of the deal. And if that is not inspiring, I don't know what is. For all that is said about the quote-unquote media, the grit and determination of journalists needs to be celebrated more. Our colleagues want to cover the stories that are challenging because they know they must be told. That these stories are important and that our readers, viewers, and listeners need this information to inform their decisions and beliefs about the world. There's a reason why people volunteer to be war correspondents. It's noble, and much of the other work we do is as well. But even as we dutifully cover the serious and emotional stories, those in our profession have also beautifully written and skillfully told stories that not only make us cry, but also laugh. Yes, we're diverse and skilled enough to simply entertain as well as inform. The Murrow Awards captures the spirit of all of it. It captures the very best. And that family is what you represent the best.
Allison McGinley, chair of the Radio Television Digital News Association's Board of Directors. On behalf of everyone at RTDNA, congratulations to our newest National Edward R. Murrow Award winners. You join a celebrated list of excellent journalists, and we are honored to welcome you into that exclusive group. It is my pleasure to invite you to our Edward R. Murrow Awards Gala on October 10th at Gotham Hall in New York City. Members of the RTDNA staff will be in touch with you for more details very soon. Thank you to all of the judges who volunteered their time in every step of the selection process. We could not put on the Murrow Awards without you. And thank you to every journalist who played a role in the pieces that were submitted. Not everyone can be a Murrow Award winner, but all of you make a difference in your communities. Thank you for the work you do. Finally, I hope to see many of you at our annual conference, RTDNA 22, on September 14th through the 16th in Indianapolis, where we will hear from you and hear from other Murrow Award winners about their work. I also hope many of you will consider joining RTDNA, helping us move journalism forward. Congratulations again to our winners, and most importantly, please keep up the great work.